Yep. So it's uh, new project time. Uh, this one is a little different than anything I've seen on YouTube. Um, I have a hundred year old Italian made ship binnacle. Now a binnacle is the magnetic compass that you would find in the wheelhouse of a ship. Um, it's, it has a bunch of magnets around it to counteract the magnetic signature of a steel ship hull. Uh, it's usually found right in front of the wheel of the ship on the bridge where you know, the person uh, driving the ship can see the magnetic readout. Well, I've promised this to a museum in Ontario that's restoring the pilot house of a Great Lakes freighter. The problem is it looks like crap because it's a hundred years old and it spent most of that hundred years out in the weather and uh, it needs some work. So that's what this project is. So let's get going on it. Um, let me tell you a little bit about my binnacle. Uh, it was made in Genoa, Italy by a company called Francesco Fuseli. I'm probably saying that wrong. Uh, just doing quick little research on the company. They were founded in 1918. I believe they, or a version of the company, is still in business. Uh, my binnacle is fairly old. Uh, the serial number stamped on the compass part itself is 707. And uh, the serial number on the base, I, I'm assuming a serial number, I suppose it could be part number, uh, 2901. Um, I don't know if maybe tw the 29 and 2901 is the year, uh, so maybe it's only, you know, 90 years old? I don't know. It's old. Uh, it lived a rough life uh, before I got it. Uh, when I did just the initial cleanup, I was pulling bees nests out of it. It spent most of its life outdoors, probably. Um, it's a combination of heavy brass castings, a lot of brass sheet metal, and a lot of woodwork. Uh, so this project is going to have a little bit of everything to restore it. Um, it's complete. Um, there's a little bit of damage, mainly to the sheet metal. Um, which I'll try to fix as best I can. I don't want to go too far because I don't really know what I'm doing and I don't want to make it any worse. But we're going to start with the heavy castings because they're the hardest thing to damage. <laughs> 